Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to order decimals. We'll go through two examples, one where we order from least to greatest and one where we order from greatest to least. And lastly, we will end with some practice problems that you can try on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we need to order the decimals from least to greatest. Now, the first thing that we're going to do to help us order these is line them up off to the side, and we're going to line up the decimal points. This is going to line up all of the places. So let's line up all of these right here. So we'll start with one and three tenths, then we have 75 hundredths, then we have one and 252 thousandths. Next, we have one and 295 thousandths. And then lastly, we have eight tenths. Now this does look a little off since we have numbers going to different places. So what we can do, we can use placeholder zeros. Remember, zeros to the right of decimal digits do not change the value of the decimal. It gives us an equivalent decimal, so we can do this. We need to find the decimal that goes to the furthest place to the right. That's going to be the thousandths place, here and here. So let's use placeholder zeros to the right of the other decimals to make them go to the thousandths place as well. So for one and three tenths, we need a placeholder zero here and here. For 75 hundredths, we need a placeholder zero here. And for eight tenths, we need a placeholder zero here and here. Now this looks a little more lined up and neater, and this will help us order. So now we move on to comparing digits from left to right. So we can start putting these in order. So we'll start with the place furthest to the left and we will work our way right. The place furthest to the left here is the ones place. So that's going to be our greatest place value. We have one, zero, one, one, and zero. So we want the smallest digit in value here since we are going from least to greatest. That's zero. So we have this narrowed down to these. Since those digits are the same, we go to the next place to the right to compare. That's going to be the tenths place. We have a seven and an eight. So we're comparing the tenths place of those two decimals to see which is going to be the least. So having a seven and an eight, we know that seven is less than eight. So this is the least. So let's write 75 hundredths first here. And I wrote the decimal from the original list. Again, 75 hundredths, not the equivalent decimal with the placeholder zero, 750 thousandths. Now again, those are equivalent, so either will work, but I'm going from the original list. Then we can put a comma and cross this off. Now before moving on, I do want to mention another way to think about this, we can think in terms of the entire decimal part here. We have 750 thousandths compared to 800 thousandths. 750 thousandths is less than 800 thousandths. Now back to what we have remaining and we start the process over. So starting in the ones place, we have a one, a one, a one and a zero. Well, zero is the smallest in value, so that comes next, because we only have one number with a zero left in the ones place. That's going to be this right here. So let's write the original number here, eight tenths, and we can cross this off. Let's continue on. Looking at the ones place, we have all ones now. So we can move over to the tenths place. We have three, 
two and two. Those twos are less than three. So we have this narrowed down to these right here. Both have a two in the tenths, so we need to move over to the next place, the hundredths place, and compare those digits. We have a five and a nine. Five is less than nine, so that comes next. One and 252 thousandths. And we can cross this off. Now, another way to think about that, we could have thought 252 thousandths compared to 295 thousandths. 252 thousandths is less than 295 thousandths. Now we are down to our last two decimals. So let's compare digits. We have ones in the ones place. So let's move over to the tenths. We have a three in the tenths and a two in the tenths. Two is less than three. So one and 295 thousandths comes next. So we can cross this off and we are down to our last one, one and three tenths. So that comes last. And let's cross that off to show that we are done with everything here. We have all of our decimals in order from least to greatest. Now let's move on to number two. So here's number two. We need to order the decimals from greatest to least. Let's start by lining up the decimal points. So we are going to line up all of these. So we'll start with two and 972 thousandths. Then we have two and six tenths. Then one and 51 hundredths. Then two and 99 hundredths. And then one and six tenths. Now this does look a little off since we have numbers going to different places. So just like number one, we can use placeholder zeros. Remember, zeros to the right of decimal digits do not change the value of the decimal. So we can do this. We need to find the decimal that goes to the furthest place to the right. That's going to be two and 972 thousandths. That goes to the thousandths place. So let's use placeholder zeros to the right of the other decimals to make them go to the thousandths place as well. So for two and six tenths, we need two placeholder zeros. For one and 51 hundredths, we need one placeholder zero. For two and 99 hundredths, we need one placeholder zero. And for one and six tenths, we need two placeholder zeros. Now this looks a little more lined up and neater. This will help us order. Now we move on to comparing digits from left to right. So we can start putting these in order from greatest to least. So we'll start with the place furthest to the left and we will work our way right. The place furthest to the left here is the ones place. So that's going to be our greatest place value. We have a two, a two, a one, a two, and a one. And since we are going from greatest to least, we want the largest digit in value. That's going to be these twos. Now, since we have three twos, those digits are the same, we need to work our way right and take a look at the tenths place to see which of these is going to be the greatest. So let's look at the tenths place. We have a nine, a six, and a nine. Those nines are greater than the six, so now we have it narrowed down to these two right here. So let's work our way right to the hundredths place to see which of these is greater. We have a seven and a nine. Nine is greater than seven, so this is going to be our greatest. So let's write this off to the side. Two and 99 hundredths. And then I'm going to put a comma here. 
Now I wrote the decimal from the original list, 2 and 99 hundredths, not the equivalent decimal with a placeholder 0, 2 and 990 thousandths. Now again, those are equivalent, so either will work, but I'm going from the original list. Now we can cross this off and move on to what we have left. Now before moving on, I do want to mention another way to think about this. We can think in terms of the entire decimal part here. We had 972 thousandths compared to 990 thousandths. 990 thousandths is greater than 972 thousandths, so that was our greatest. Now back to what we have remaining. So we start the process over. So starting in the ones place, we have a two, a two, a one, and a one. Well, two is greater than one. So we need to look at these two right here. Since both of those have a two in the ones place, we move to the tenths place. We have a nine and a six. 9 is greater than 6, so 2 and 972 thousandths comes next. So 2 and 972 thousandths. And we can cross this off. And again, we can think of this in terms of the entire decimal part here in order to compare. So 972 thousandths compared to 600 thousandths. 972 thousandths is greater. And now let's continue on. So looking at the ones place, we have a two, a one, and a one. Two is the greatest here, so that's what's going to come next. Two and six tenths. And we can cross this off and continue on. So looking at the ones place, we have a one and a one. So let's move over to the tenths place. We have a five and a six. Six is greater than five. So that's what comes next. One and six tenths. So let's cross that off. And we only have one left now. One and 51 hundredths. So that is last here. And now we are in order from greatest to least. Now that we've gone through some examples together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. So here are your practice problems. For number one, order the four decimals from least to greatest. For number two, order the five decimals from greatest to least. I'll give you three minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that's three minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, least to greatest, we should have 49 thousandths, then 36 hundredths, then 4 tenths, and lastly, 417 thousandths. For number two, greatest to least, we should have 1 and 7 tenths, then 1 and 199 thousandths, then 1 and 1 tenth, then 1 and 99 thousandths, and then lastly, 875 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how to order decimals. Just remember, line up the decimal points, use placeholder zeros, and then compare digits from left to right. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.